Illinois is known to have over a thousand miles of inland waterways and today we have Mark Bunzelmeyer, one of the Illinois Corn Growers Association directors, here to talk to us about the lock and dam systems in Illinois and improvements that are happening now and could happen into the future. So thanks for being here, Mark. My pleasure. So you were just in the New Orleans and learning more about the Waterways Council, which Illinois Corn is a member of. What was the mission or the purpose of this trip? Waterway Council celebrated their 20th anniversary this uh, current this past year, and we had their annual meeting and symposium in New Orleans. And mission was just get an update with uh, what's going on with the Lock and Dam system and different struggles, challenges that we're facing, and then where we're going in the future. And so tell us, what, what are some of the struggles that they're facing right now? Uh, one of them is with, currently, with we don't have the uh, water flow um, up and down the Mississippi River, and so we've been working on dredging to get that, and that is part of with climate change, what have you, and uh, currently there at St. Louis, we're uh, filling up barges only at about 75% capacity and don't have the 12 foot draft that they need, and so we're not being able to fill it up, and as we continue down to the lower Mississippi, um, those struggles to continue on. And there's been dredging efforts to get a 55 foot um, dredge channel through um, Baton Rouge down south through the uh, Gulf. Um, so that is one of the struggles that's going on right now. And what, what are they looking forward to next year? Are there other struggles that we're looking at? Are there any opportunities there? They continue with the dredging and getting that to work um, in the process of dredging they're facing they are solving other problems besides getting that draft they are then um, funneling over that dredge and um, there's different fingerlings off of the Mississippi River down below New Orleans and there be and that the water is escaping there and escaping that pressure and so they're filling that in and they filled in over 3,000 acres over the last uh, 12 years and that is um, allowed to have better flow down through the lower Mississippi and uh, all that. Wow and tell me a little bit about Waterways Council has many members which Illinois Corn is a member of. What are some of the other partners in that organization that were maybe also at this event that you were? There are a lot of different barge operators, um, manufacturers, association, things like that. Definitely. And what is the current update of some of the nest project projects, excuse me, in Illinois? I know that was a big interesting topic this year that we've been working on for a long time. Um, in May of this year, uh, Lock 25 in Winfield, Missouri, just north of uh, St. Louis, got started and they did groundbreaking. And that's um, almost a $800 million project that has been funded. And uh, But due to inflation, the costs have um, skyrocketed from the earlier projection. And so Waterway Council and Illinois Corn, our ask is for uh, WARDA 2024, the Waterway, our Water Resource Development Act um, is to have full funding for any approved projects. Well, thank you so much, Mark, for sharing some of your wisdom here today about your trip to New Orleans. And we are glad to be able to have you as part of the Illinois Corn Growers Board of Directors really focusing on these issues and we know that waterways are critical to our Illinois farmers and an um, important piece of those export markets. So we're thankful to have you here today. Thank you.